gonna start this video off right. Today is Monday, December 6th. Man, I gotta give God thanks, man. Just thanks, thank you, Father. I mean, if he don't do nothing else for me, no more, period. He done enough, he done enough. I mean, I have more, I've, I've had and getting more than I could ever ask for, you know. My own business, you know, it's going well. Wife, the kids, family, you know, we ain't, we're not wanting for anything, you know, and uh, things are going great. I'm not like a big, super holy person. Got nothing against people that are, you know, I, I, but I believe in God. I was raised up in the church. I don't go to church every Sunday. I barely, I barely get there most of the time. But I do believe in God and I think about God all the time. And I got to send a shout out to him because he's always there for me. You know, I've been through a lot in my life and man, he saved me. You know, some people don't, you know, like for my YouTube subscribers when I was younger, 18 years old, I got shot four times in the chest. He kept me, he saved me for a reason. You know, actually I got shot three times in the chest and one in my arm when I was 18 years old. But, uh, you know, I just want to give the man above his credit, his due, you know. Okay, it's rude. This guy just, I'm getting fuel and this guy just walked through and stepped over my fuel lines while the fuel was pumping in, in my tractor. But, you know, we're we, we going to woo out. We're going to let that blow off. We're going to let that blow off. You know, don't. And the guy next to me, he ain't even popping. You could have walked that way. But uh, anyway, you know, back to my good spirits. You know, uh, yeah, man. Thank God, you know, first and foremost. And I don't say that enough. I don't say that enough. But uh, yeah, it's time to get it. Time to get into this video. Um, I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see exactly how. I hooked up these air scales, you know, if y'all, you know, all my people that's watching, do me a favor, I need y'all to hit that like button, you know, hit that like button for your boy, it helps the channel grow, it helps other people that's learning how to truck, getting out here in the trucking world, um, you know, might get a few tips from me that they don't know, you know, I get tips from other drivers, I watch other drivers, um, videos, and I hit that thumbs up every time, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, because it helps them grow, if I can help you any, any type of way, I will. I mean, it is nothing for me to hit that thumbs up, that like button. But if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel. Follow me. You know, let's let's go. Go on a journey with me. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more. Being a little more active on my channel and uh, get ready for the ride. Let's go, baby. Let's go with the rest of the video. See y'all later. Damn it, boy, and I ain't even done. I still gotta put reefer, still gotta put reefer fuel in here. I gotta put a reefer and diesel. That's where, that's where my death goes in for people that don't, you know, that still new, new to truck and don't really know death. That's to clean your, uh, your exhaust system. So far, I've only had to change the sensor. I know a lot of people get a lot of problems out of the death, you know, but, uh, so far, so good. I've had my truck for almost a year. You know that? APU. <laughs> She's still going good. This auto. She's brand new. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to finish pumping this fuel and I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Yeah, I just got fuel and I'm about to drop this trailer. For y'all, I'm at. I got. I got plenty of time. I load them delivered until about 5 p.m. tomorrow in in uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee. So I got plenty of time. So I'm gonna drop the trailer and show y'all exactly where I put the bit air scale, which is Bluetooth control for my weight. You know, um, that's what this main the video is mainly about is the Bluetooth air scale. Yeah, and it's cold. It's cold. The temp says 36 degrees. Here in Michigan, but uh, it's it's not because it's so windy. I'm gonna have to do this tap because it's just tapping up my lips. But uh, yeah, let me drop this trailer real quick. Yeah, drop this trailer. 
So I can show y'all exactly where I put that at. Yep, hold on. Yeah, I can't wait to get down to Tennessee. But anyway, y'all, this is this is where I put the uh Oh here it go. Alright, so it's a little dirty from all the dirt and gravel and stuff. But this is the bit S scale right here. That's it. Bit. Bit air scale. That's it right there. Very easy. I just spliced this one line which goes down into the to the airbag. Splice that line, stick the one hose in there, it clamps and locks it in there. Stick the other line, I don't mean hose, stick the other line in there. What well, is a hose? Stick the other line in there, push it in there, and it clamps and locks in, it won't come out. There's no leaks or nothing. But yeah, that's it. That's a simple installation. And like I said, it's pretty accurate. It's really close. Unless I'm close to being max grossed out, I'm gonna roll with it because, you know, it's pretty close. But like I said, if I got a load that's like 43, 42, five or 42, I'm gonna get weighed. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna go to the scale. I'm gonna go to the real scale because I don't wanna risk getting in trouble or messing, getting a bad mark. There goes the other one. So the rear trailer air scale is right here. I put it above that airbag, spliced the line, went in there. That's where the rear air scale is at. Like I said, I'm gonna put up a picture and show you what the weight is of this load and show you what the weight is of this load and and show you that it's pretty, pretty close to being accurate. Yep. I'm back. Yeah, we also, I, on Friday, I went to, uh, when I got back home, I went, we went to, uh, with my family, I went to a uh, Sir Charles Jones concert, and uh, Pokey Bear, and Big Brow, um, my mother, my grandma's sister, my auntie, you know, with all, all the, my older folks, you know, they love blues, and I listen to that. When I'm around, they listen to it. So they got me liking blues too. You know, I like it all. I can do, I can do everything. I'm versatile. We, we listen to gangster rap. We listen to blues. We listen to some R&B. I do it all. But uh, watch to the end, and I put a little video up with my mother and my grandmother and all them. You know, we create, create some memories. That's something we'll never forget. You know, we had a good time. We had a real good time at the concert. But uh, that's it. This video. I hope y'all watch it again because it's a little bit longer than the last couple of ones I've been making, but yeah, I'm out of here. Heading to grab a load, I mean to drop off a load down in Shelbyville, Tennessee, then coming right back up to the house. But anyway, I came to talk to y'all about this product that I bought. It's called Bit Air Scale. Get gross axle weights on your phone or tablet so you don't have to go to the scale so I'm still testing this out I'm still testing this out to see how good it works I've had it on there about two weeks I hadn't said anything about it it's simple to install you, you cut your you cut your airline right above uh, in, in your back on your on your uh, your tractor right above your uh, your airbag you cut the airline and they just literally one fitting goes in here and the fitting goes on the other side. Don't pay nobody to do that. It's so simple. And uh, it reads your, I'm gonna put a picture up of the weight that I got right now. It's a light load. So I know I wasn't overweight anyway, but uh, it saves you if you're kind of questioning, are you overweight? Um, you know, it'll tell you, let you know for sure you ain't overweight. Um, I would say it's not completely accurate, but I can't give a good, good judgment on it yet. Because I'm doing a few calibrations, you got to keep calibrating it. Uh, you don't have to keep calibrating it, but you want to calibrate it a few times. You know, I've done it like five times, so I think it might be more on point now. But I noticed one time I was really heavy, and it wasn't it wasn't accurate. It wasn't accurate, so I had I had winning winning got weighed because it was so heavy. I was like, nah, I, I need to go check, and I was overweight. 
and I was overweight, but I just needed to adjust my tandem. I was at my gross gross max. I was like 80,500. That's the max I can carry because I have an APU unit, so I'm allowed to carry an extra 500 pounds legally. And um, yeah, but so far, I, so far I like it. Um, it's doing good. If you you might have problems. Um, I thought it would be able to read from inside the truck. It'll read the, the ones on the track. It'll read the, the um, it, it'll read your, uh, cause you got two scales, one on the trailer, one on the tractor. It'll read the scale on the tractor if, you, if you're sitting inside the, inside the cab, it'll read it then. But if you're not sitting inside the cab, it won't, it won't hardly pick up the trailer. So you gotta get out and walk to the back and then it'll pick it up. And uh, if it's not reading then, then you wanna turn your Bluetooth off turn it back on so it, it'll pick up it, it'll read the bluetooth will pick up the scale and then it'll give you away but uh like i said i'm still i'm still uh trying to fix, see how good this is going to be um if, I, if i'm still close to gross gross uh i'm, I'm still close to being gross out i'm still gonna i'm still gonna go get way um because i don't think it's like completely accurate and um I, i'm still trying to figure it out exactly how to work it you know, but, but but it's pretty simple. It's not it's not real hard. Um, I play I paid I believe it was around about 270 bucks for it. But it's a lifesaver though. Like you know, it saves you from having to stop, you know, and going to the scale all the time trying to get your weight. You know, you know, trying to get your weight, and make sure you ain't overweight. But so far so good on the bid air scales. Um, I'm having a good day. Like I said, my weekend was great. Me and my brother did a four. We picked four teams on FanDuel. We hit that. That was twenty six hundred dollars. I was like, yeah, but well, we could have had more because we did another four, a four pick. You know, we did another four pick, but the Baltimore Ravens lost. So that that lost us sixteen hundred dollars. One damn team, one team, and it came down to the wire too. But uh, yeah, man, it's been a, it's been a good weekend. But I had I bet a few more games, and you know that was a little bit smaller money, but I still won. And you know, I'm a big football fan. For people that don't know, I love football, and. Um, all my teams won, and I'm doing good, you know. But uh, yeah, that's all I wanted. Uh, let y'all know, give you like a little review on the bid air scale. Um, so far, so good. I would say it's worth it, you know. Once, you, once you figure out all the kinks in it, which I'm still doing, and uh, I'll let you guys know how these bid air scales going for me. Um, also, I use the app at uh, I use the app at the cat the cat scale, so I don't have to go in. Use that cat scale app, you know, so you don't have to go in and you waste the time. You can just pull up, get your weight, and keep going. It's, it's pretty dope. I actually like that. I got that from my boy Scooby Doo. You know, I, I, I was never even using I kind of was ignoring it. I was walking in and wasting time. You got to keep setting the channels, especially if it ain't right, you know, but it, it's so much easier if you just use that cat scale app. But uh, yeah, y'all have a, y'all have, yeah, but uh, it's so much easier if you keep using that cat scale. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. Um, I'll drop another video later on. Love y'all. Peace. It's your boy. I'm out of here. Yeah, let's enjoy. Keep trucking, man. I love this trucking life. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What's up, sir? About to do the thing. I'm gonna get up there and, and sing with Sir Charles. No, you're not. That's not gonna Anybody happen. Anybody gonna let your tail? Yeah. Hey, Mayor. With the who? The selfie. The selfie? This yeah, ain't this one for you and for you and me. It, a, it, it ain't a selfie. No, no, no. Oh, it's a video. It's a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all my family. That's my mama. That's my auntie. And my mother-in-law. That's my aunt Mary. Yeah. Huh. All right. And my cousin Vicky. That's my wife. That's Janelle, sister. All these my folks. We had we had Sir Charles thing. Yeah. My mom is the loud one. Yeah, she the loud one. Yeah, that that my man, my mom, my mother-in-law. Hold on, I'm gonna get a picture too. Yeah, got it. And my wife. Yeah, that's a video. Y'all gonna be on YouTube. YouTube take good money. Yeah! <laughs> right, right. <laughs>
all of the family. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? I'll be on truck in my front seat. You already on there? No, no, I ain't. This is my mama, y'all. This, this is her. The one and only. Look. Spin for us one time. Give, give us a fabulous spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm.